How are you? I'm doing really well. Are you in, um, are you local or you're in Florida? I'm in Florida. Yeah, where, where do you live now? Um, St. Augustine. I'm commuting. Oh, awesome. This month, I'm not going really back till the end of the month, and then I'll just go to Vegas for EXP Con. Are you guys both going? Um, I might not make it this year. I have a conflict with scheduling. Yeah. For you, David? I'll be there for sure. Oh, good. Very good. Well, that's a bummer, D Dennis. You were like the life of the party last time. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to try to make it the last two days. I have, um, my wife's out of the country, so I have to stay with my kid for two of the days. So it's kind of, it's kind of throwing things off a little bit. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's kind of important. Yeah, yeah. So, um, how do you like to see an audience? Jacket or, oh, there's Cameron. I think he flies. Hey, how are you guys? Hey, Cam. I think P flies back today or he flew back last night. So Yeah, he'll be back today. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Um, so Gail, I own property down in um, Palm Coast, just south of you. Really? So how far is that from St. Augustine? Palm, Palm Coast is about 30, 30 minutes. Oh what? Oh, right so, there? Yeah, yeah, you're really close. So I'm gonna be there actually in about a week and a half. So maybe we can hook up for lunch or something. I would love that. I would love yeah. to. I yeah. love Palm Coast. So I drove down by I forgot it was like the hammock waves hammock, or hammock beach. Yep, hammock, hammock dunes. Hammock beach. Yep. Yep. Right. Yeah. Dave Dave Gagnon, who's our main guy in our group, he um he lives actually right there. So very cool. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. What's up, Lurch? Going on, Keith. Hey Gail, how'd you make it out through the hurricane? Good. I know somebody probably already asked nothing, you. Nothing, nothing happened. All right. My mother was like, I'm so disappointed. <laughs> We prepared for everything. So you were overpromised and underproduced too. Is that what you're saying? I was in this office for 10 hours that day. So I anything could happen, I would have known, but nothing happened. There we so go. All that. I mean, this is how I don't even know Florida, right? So I'm in Costco. We're buying plants and all kinds of dirt and everything. Why is it so freaking crowded in here? Just have no idea. I'm like, we're never coming back here on a on a Sunday. And, <laughs> you know, not even noticing all the generator. I'm like, well, that's kind of weird. Everyone's buying generators and water and like, why is everything gone? I had no clue until about two days ago. I'm like, oh, I'm such an idiot. But I miss you guys. I, I'm like, I got to get back on. I've been uh, really committed to prospecting every single morning from 11 to 1 Eastern time. And it's been blowing it up. So it's been great. But I'm like, I got to get my, I'm Jones in there. Yep. Hey, I'm, I'm our team's chasing you. Elizabeth's team's chasing you, but we're we're weak in the in the in the in the people turning in numbers. That's killing us in the rock star challenge. So you guys are you and Rich are doing a good job. Hmm. Well, I'm Morning, also everybody. Like, kind of like Maddie. calling him and telling him to get their sh their friggin' numbers in. Yeah, but right. uh, Gail. Yeah. Who are you prospecting, by the way? Are you calling like expireds and stuff like that or past oh, clients or what? Actually agents. I've been doing agent attraction. Mm. And I've been doing really well. I mean, I've never ever tried it, right? And so I'm doing live prospecting with uh, Randy Bird and uh, Andre LaFontaine. Pete Middleton's going to be one of them starting next week. Um, so there's about 25 of us that do, and, and it's been great. Like today he does the CRM grow training and he gives us all of his actions. Uh, it, there's about 25 of us that live prospect every day. And Dan Hilsman, uh, another guy, uh, is that through a track boss or whatever? Yeah, that thing so was talking about? Best thing I've ever done. Best thing. All right. Love I've it. made appointments for brokerages, three different brokerages, uh, and I just attracted like one of the you know biggest agents in my area. So she actually just signed yesterday. But it's awesome. it's just giving you the verbiage and the you know the confidence to have these conversations. Like uh like this morning, I got a text message from Andre uh, LaFountain. Anybody know KW and uh, KW agent? So I actually role play every Thursday with John Dietz. And he's phenomenal, that guy. He's like awesome. So I put him on the call. So I'm learning, you know, just like watching people. But I call every day and I get two to three appointments every single day. Wow. wow. So, That's amazing. Yeah. I'm so joining I, that today based on your recommendation. Ugh, best thing, best thing I've ever done. Just because you get so, Brandy Bird is a beast. 
I mean, you think get, about this. Andre LaFallon last two years ago when I joined, he had 400 agents just from him prospecting two hours a day. He's got 1,100 agents now. 1,100 wow. agents in two years. Hmm. And same, you know, it, it's pretty incredible. Um, just watching what they do. There's one guy in there, like I called on him to role play. His name is uh, Vincent St. Louis. And all of a sudden we're talking and he's so good. He goes, well, I'm a little bit different. I've never sold a house. I'm like, you've never sold a house? He has 1,200 agents. He joined five years ago. And all he does wow. is call two hours a day. Wow. You know, revenue share check of $80,000 a month. Wow. And he calls two hours a day. He's never sold a house. Wow. Oh, I'm signing up for that too, then. Hey, Gail, I have a question for oh, you. Good. You guys, here, here, hold on. Put me down as your sponsor. The Rockstar guy. I get 50 I know you're bucks. One of the co- you're one of the coaches in the Rockstar thing, Gail. And that's where I yeah. did that thing for the uh, agents and the, the the daily productive activity question. I know we're on a tangent here to what we're talking about. We're not about, live, are we? But it's all about. Yeah, yeah, we, we, are. we are actually, yeah. But here, here, here's, here's a question. You've got, you've got the, the alliance that's getting ready to do something too, which is Tomasini and those guys. Right. They're going to have some, and those guys, and, and, and Kurt, they've been bugging me to stay with that, to do that one. And I, I already been approved to do the Randy one. I was going to do it, but then I texted Kurt and he goes, wait, we're going to do the alliance one. So right now I'm waiting until September to make my decision. But I love the Randy one. And I looked at it, guys. It's just, Right now, I'm over there in that other challenge, and I figured I got to stay there for right now. Yeah, Lurchie, I'm hearing good things about the Attract Boss thing, so. Oh, it's fire, fire. I know. I'm hearing a lot of good things about it. But anyway, House, guys, let's let's get rolling let's get here, okay? Let's get back to um, back to production, and we have a good yeah. crew here today. We're, so we want to record, right? Is somebody recording already? Um, I think it Is might be already. I think Dre has a recording already. So um, so today today's call is all going to be about um, SEO, which I'll have my own views and thoughts about in online lead generation. So, you know, we have some masters here. Uh, Dave Lawson, I know does really well. Matt, you do pretty well. Um, I do pretty well. So I'll give all my thoughts. So let's start this off. Cam, do you want to start it off, buddy, down in Florida? Make sure you're safe, pal. Yeah. You're on mute, buddy. Oh. <laughs> That's okay. No worries. But this will be a great call, guys. All about lead generation on the internet, okay? So. That should be better now, yeah? You guys can hear me? Perfect. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. Technology, right? But, uh, so, you know, lead generation, I'm, I'm super passionate about it. It's at the core of our business. Um, every realtor has to be doing lead generation. If you're not doing lead generation, you're going out of business, which is why a lot of realtors go out of business. Um, the, the thing is, is we have three types of, uh, lead generations. Um, now I know earlier you kind of said you wanted to stay on SEO and more of the online leads. I'm going to kind of go and briefly talk about kind of overviews. Um, so we have three types that we always kind of tell everyone. I coach everyone here at next gen on it's outbound lead gen, which is the most important you guys. You know, those are going to be like your open, uh, you know, your open houses, your direct mailing campaigns, your calling, your door knocking, your email, your text marketing. That is your outbound uh, lead generation systems, right? And those are the most important thing. Everyone needs to be doing at least a few forms of outbound lead generation um, every single day. It's just the crux of our business. We focus mainly on outbound leads. It's all based around our open houses. Uh, if you're a brand new agent and maybe you don't have any listings, leverage your brokerage, leverage your team, get open houses. You'll be amazed that almost all the agents I've ever asked to have an open house at one of their homes or one of my team members, they all say yes. Like everybody wants you to advertise. Everybody wants you to help them and, you know, advertise their property for sale. So if you, if you don't have a, um, you know, your own listings, leverage your team. It's, it's just, it's so important. Um, now with that, remember open houses are, are maybe a little old fashioned, but it allows us to leverage marketing the neighborhood. You can do the cold, you know, the door knocking, the cold calling, you can do a uh, campaign on Facebook for it. You have all this stuff that you can do now, now that you're doing something with a property. So it really gives you the leverage uh, to do that. The other one of our favorite um, lead systems, and Matt Badiata, you're the one that showed us this, was the real marketing mailers. We've had great uh, success with that. So it, real marketing, 
Um, I'm sure hopefully you guys are going to talk about that throughout the today and the call, but it's been fantastic for us. They do an automated uh, monthly mailer. Absolutely fantastic. Um, inbound marketing, more of the stuff that I think everybody wants and it's the, the golden nugget and everyone dreams of, which we have created and it works really good. Uh, most of it is obviously through social media. Um, we do a lot of content, a lot of that posting. One of the most important things I can tell you is that this has to be uh, in addition to your outbound marketing, you guys, you have to be doing the calls. You have to be touching and contacting people and then do social media on top of that. Um, it, it's really important not to try to do all social media. It just, it doesn't produce enough leads in our case. Um, even though we're generating, you know, about four to 5 million views a month, it just doesn't have, you know, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of leads every single month through it. Um, obviously, like you were saying, Google SEO, search engine optimization, um, huge. You got to make sure that your, your Google, your website's optimized. Plus you have to have your Google uh, business page optimized. So those two things, you guys are paramount. We have so many agents. Um, you know, I, I think everybody knows we've been doing a live tour around Florida. It's been a great time, uh, but we have tons of agents that are joining us and we do a social media audit. And most people don't even have their Google business page or their Google business profile set up correctly. And it's costing you business. Uh, you have to have that set up properly. That way it funnels back to your Facebook accounts. It funnels back to your website. Uh, so much value there in the Google business profile and the SEO. Um, now we have a great company that does our websites for us. Uh, they work on the SEO part. They do the blog posts and all of that. Um, so we don't really kind of do the deep diving into the website SEO, but it is important. I recommend though, because we are realtors, we're not SEO professionals, right? I recommend uh, having a, a third party company that one of us would vouch for that we're personally using. Uh, I would recommend using them for your search engine optimization. Uh, the last out inbound system that's just absolutely vital is your referral network, right? You got your agent referral network, huge, huge, you guys. You have to be networking. You have to be connecting with other agents and build your agent referral network. You also have your customer referral network. So you need to be reaching out to clients that you've worked with in the past and bluntly asking them for business. Hey, we need to know who you're looking for. I want to help your friends. Be blunt, ask them for referrals, and they'll give them to you. Uh, if you beat around the bush, they, they just won't. So the more direct, the more upfront you are, um, the better that I have found it. Um, the last part about that is obviously here, we have Workplace, which is our back end. You guys, Workplace referrals are almost unlimited. You need to be on Workplace. You need to be working the referral network that we have built out here with Workplace. Um, it, it's been just absolutely fantastic for us here in Florida. Obviously, a lot of people are moving to Florida, so there's a lot of you know outgoing referrals, that type of thing. Um, but it's been wonderful to work with. Um, and then the last, the last system we have is paid leads. I think everybody knows kind of how paid leads work. Um, we're super excited, though. We actually are uh, in development. We're almost completed with our next gen lead system. So we are building out a complete lead, uh, you know, Facebook leads, Google leads, a pay per lead system. Uh, it's not released yet. We're not ready to release it yet to the public. But what we're doing is we're taking all the ads that have worked for myself and our teams I, on pace, you know, obviously this year for almost a thousand homes. So we know these ads work and then we're using those exact same ads for other people um, as a paid lead source. So uh, we haven't released it yet. We're really excited about it. It's it's obviously it's great. It works really well. It gets us a ton of leads, um, but we're just not quite ready to release it to the public. If you guys want to kind of see it and touch it and feel it, um, text me. I'm kind of making a list or a short list of all the people that are interested, um, but it, it's really, it's, it's something that I think will be uh, really good just because it's using, um, you know, what works for us and we just share that with everyone. So uh, those are our three main lead systems. It's inbound, outbound, and paid. You got to do at least the outbound and the inbound. Now the paid leads, do those as your budget allows. Um, pick the ones that you're comfortable doing. I think that's the biggest thing is that do the ones that you're comfortable doing so that you're consistent with them um, because obviously consistency is the crux of our business. It doesn't matter if it's lead gen or follow up or whatever it is. If you're not consistent with it, it won't work. Um, so pick the ones that you're comfortable that you enjoy doing. Find some agents or find some team members that maybe enjoy doing the other part of it. We talked about that last weekend with the team. Um, but with all of those different systems, we have had you know great, great success. So that's my input on leads.
Awesome, Cam, that's awesome, man. A few people had a question. Who do you use? Do you, are you doing SEO now or in what company do you use? Uh, so we use, oh, hold on. I got to think of their names. Um, I'll think about it and I'll get back to you. Come back to it and throw it in the chat, okay? If you can. We'll do, perfect. Perfect. So we're going to go now to um, Dave Lawson, the, the mega, mega agent producer in Park City, Utah. Dave, what do you have, man? Because, I mean, you're... On this panel, you're, you're part of the guys doing the most volume. So we'd love to just pick your brain as to what you're doing and what lead generation works for you. Uh, well, like Matt said and Cameron, we have these. Uh, these are RM. So we do Deer Valley. We do the Colony. We do two subdivisions of Pine Brook and also Jeremy Ranch. Uh, I got two listings off of that this week. I'm sorry, this month, one of them we already closed on. Uh, they are a consistent lead generator for our team. Uh, so, um, and the thing is, is what I like about these is these are, it's 11 by 17. It's a fold out. Um, it's a four page thing and it gives stats. It's very hyper local to a, a neighborhood and it's very effective. That's the good news. The bad news is you're not gonna send one of these out and take two listings this week. So um, we took two listings in um, on that off of that this week uh, or this month. And I can tell you that, you, you know, we started, you know, if when you start this, you will start getting phone calls anywhere between the third, fourth, fifth mailer. So, uh, you know, as we all know, people normally need to hear from us seven times to, to way more than that. This particular thing is so effective that it's, I, it, it's in the three to four range. Um, Matt, anything you want to share with that? What's your experience on how, off, how long it takes to get leads? Yeah, those mailers, the best thing about those mailers is, um, and that's when, that's why I started using that company a long time ago, and um, is that they're on autopilot, right? Yep. I used to do mailers, and every month I'd have to, you know, be proofing it and making sure it went out and all that kind of stuff. And so I always, I'm a big believer that your marketing has to be on autopilot. You set it, and then you just forget about it. And a company like that, um, you know, there's other companies that you can use to do very similar things, but, um, you know, direct mail as antiquated as it is, it works. Right. It's and, self. and you don't have to send out that big 11 by 17 mailer. Um, you know, some areas that I farm to, I send out five and a half by 11. They're still really, really nice postcards. Um, but yeah, direct mail is huge. Um, yeah. Dave, are you done or should I? <laughs> no, no I, I, so I got a few more things. Okay, so um, besides the mailers, um, I think outbound lead generation is the most important. And I, you know what the cheapest thing is? It costs me $29.99 a month. It's my phone. Make your phone calls. Block the time. I love what um, Gail said she's blocking out two hours a day to make phone calls. If you're in the business of real estate, you're in the sales business. If you're not selling, you're going to be out of business. So you and the thing is, is I use this example in my coaching all the time. So if you have a eight million dollar or a three million dollar listing tomorrow morning at 9 a.m., where are you going to be tomorrow at 9 a.m.? You're going to be at the listing appointment. Yes or yes. Right. And so if you make an appointment tomorrow from 9 a.m. to 11 to make phone calls for two hours, um, it think of it like a multi million dollar listing appointment that, and what would get in the way of it? I mean, if my wife or kids or grandkids are in the hospital or I broke my leg, I'll miss it, but I won't miss it for anything else. Okay. Um, and then the other thing is, um, I and and when you're talking to people, I love what um, Cameron said. Ask for referrals. 
a huge amount of my business. Matt, how many times have I asked you for referrals? And by the way, Matt gave me a referral. And Matt, have you received your referral check from last week? I did. Thank you. You did, right? And I got, and we sold a million one house from a referral from Matt. And have you ever seen me do a presentation or do anything, Matt, and I don't ask for referrals? Nope. Every time. Every time. And it's because I have trained myself and I, it is just part of my um, repetition of what I do every day. So I can see there's, I don't know, 50, 100 people on this. So if, if you have anybody that you, you know in Park City, Utah, or in Salt Lake, anybody on this call, let me know and I will take care of your client. We will do a fabulous job and we'll send you a check in the mail. And Matt, you spent about, I don't know, about eight minutes talking to me about your clients on the phone and you got a very healthy check, right? And so you have, so how much per hour did you make on that? It's the most, there's nothing that you can do in real estate that pays you more than that, okay? Even if you worked on it an hour and you were, you didn't even work on it 10 minutes, right? And then you get a five or eight thousand dollar check, ten thousand dollar check. Uh, that's that's a lot of money per hour. And yeah, then, and I'll add one one thing to that, David. Those so th the people that I referred to David were people I sold their house here in San Diego, and they were moving to uh, I guess somewhere outside of Park City, outside Salt Lake, right? But when I first yeah, talked yeah. to them, they said, "Oh no, no, we have an agent over there that we've been working with and everything," and I said. Uh, you got to talk to David Lawson. You got to, I, I, I'm sure this person you're dealing with is great, but this guy, you know, and I really sold you up and they said, all right, well, give us his information and blah, 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 you know. And if, and of course, the minute you put them in touch with David and David's team, they will be sold on using David and they did. So awesome. even when people say they might have some, oh, I have a friend there, et cetera. You got to kind of push through that and just make the connection. Yeah, David, and the Okay, go ahead. I was going to ask you. Say is when I give out referrals, I tell them, I say, Matt, um, you know, I, it is my job to make sure that I connect you with the very best agent in Carlsbad. And his name is Matt Badiaga. And I can assure you that he is going to absolutely take care of you. And, and I feel like it is my duty to make sure you just don't get you know, get an agent, you need to get the best. So is it okay if I give you Matt's number? Yeah. And then what I do is I don't give you Matt's number. What do I do, Matt? You have, I give yeah. you, so I'm going to text you. Well, I'm not, it's not a good example because it's you. So I tell that to, you know, to Dennis. And then I do a group text that says, Dennis, hey, I'm just, here's the friend of mine that is the absolute best agent in Carlsbad. And um, I want to introduce you. Here's this contact information. And then I say to, um, you know, vice versa. And I say, you know, here's, here's Dennis's name and contact information, Matt, take care of him. And then I get on a three-way text and then I'm, I'm still a little bit involved. And if you use the verbiage, you know, it is my responsibility to make sure that you get the very best agent in the area. Um, uh, you will, the, the amount of referrals you get skyrocket. I, I'm getting the app, it takes, I get one referral paid out or paid in every three weeks. And it's because of one thing, what is it, Matt? Because I'm always asking, right? So... Awesome. Anyway, I got to run to an appointment. So thanks for allowing me to be on for a few minutes. Um, thanks, Dave. Thanks, anybody. Appreciate yeah. it. Good. All right. So let's let's go to the the rose and the thorn bush here, because <laughs> this is a thorn bush. Um, Gail, let let us tell us what you're doing, please. Well, um, can I share my screen? You can. You should be able to. Okay, so basically, um, I actually just signed up for the real marketing, so I'm kind of excited about that. I, I'm taking it a step further. Um, I, I'm a prospector, so I've been calling 
like today, I, I don't even know why I'm on here because it's the first, it's the last day of the month, and the first day of the month is the day that I call. And it's like, ah, you know. Um, and I have a different method. So I use, I'm gonna share my screen. I just happened to do a presentation to another agent the other day. So I use this program right here, here called Offers. And what it does, it gives me a really good algorithm. And then what I do is I turbocharge it. So basically, let me go to, I'm working with anybody that has been engaged, a seller signal, anybody who's raised their hand for an H, uh, home value lead. Um, this is also a home value lead. So then I take that, I download it. And if you see on the left-hand side, I do anything above a 90. So then we take it, anything that is rated over a 90, and then I am going to work my SEO. So the way that I do that, and the reason I like this is, well, this is just page one out of like 100. So I'll get maybe a good, you know, if I have 3000 leads, I'll get it down to maybe 500. Then what they're gonna see is they're gonna see every time they go on the internet, Google pay-per-click, um, they're gonna see these videos. So I have a couple of different videos. They're 15. I am Dale DeMarco. Over the last 20 years, we have learned to get the most amount of money for your home requires a lot of special attention, including home preparation, inspection, home improvements, and eye-catching photography. This holistic approach will ensure that you will get the most amount of money for your home. Okay, so that's one of them. I have a couple of different messages. I shot these at shareholders, like at nine o'clock at night, I grabbed the videographer. I didn't go to Disneyland to shoot these awesome. videos. And um, thinking of selling your home, consider getting an instant offer from the Gail DeMarco real estate team. The process is simple. Just call my office and if your home qualifies, we could get you an all cash offer that can close as early as two weeks. I get a ton of business from that one little video. Thinking of selling your home? Interview more than one agent for the job. Most successful homeowners in this market will compare multiple marketing strategies before making that decision. So very, very simple. Um, then what happens, I, have a, I pay a guy $100, $100 a month, and I tell him my budget's $1,000 or whatever that is gonna be. And he basically retargets them, constantly is retargeting them. So when I'm calling them, they already know me. I have these you know, annoying little postcards that kind of match my, match my messages. So they go out, these go out three days after through stamps. I love that. Um, instant offer goes out through stamps automatically. And here's the cool thing. Uh, the cool thing is that, you know, and I have even like my social media, it's, it all matches it. Um, sorry, sorry to stop your flow. Can you go back to those last two postcards? I want everybody to take a screenshot of those because those are really, really well I can done. give it to you. I think I have them in Canva. Okay. So I could put them in the text. Like there, that one right there, that, that one right there, guys, is a jackpot. So, you know, I do a lot of direct mail and have been doing, you know, good USPs for a while. That That's that's the winner right there, right, Gail? Is, is that what you're saying? Yeah, I get a lot from this one. More people, nobody really wants a cash offer, but I'll tell you what, and then you get them in the funnel and you get in front of them. So one of the things that um, I do, I, I get a lot of listing appointments, but they're like in the early funnel, like, but, you know, I'm building this funnel. So I'm getting like seven appointments a month off of this stuff. And when I say that it's the, the people like who I market, I market $700,000 and up. I don't market anybody that is below that price point. And it used to be a, a million dollars in that, but in Florida, the average price point is 550,000. So, um, you know, I've just kind of cut it down and I actually do all of my prospecting with offers as well, because it's just really, really great. I will, uh, you know, get my list and I have my, 
assistant download it every day and not every day, once a week. And then she imports it into Mojo. And then I just start calling off of that. Um, and this cost me $299 a month. Okay. It's usually $599 for five zip codes. But here's what I do. Um, I normally just keep it for two months and then I cancel it because I have, I have more than enough. I have more than enough after two months, right? Um, they will offer you to stay in it, you know, for $2.99 a month. So, you know, you could do whatever you want. But, you know, at the end of the day, you know, and I will tell you, I was just doing this prospecting class for an agent. And let's see, I do, um, you know, hyper-focused FISBAs. Those are my face-to-face. -face. This is a whole nother thing that I do. I do circle calling around pending listings. As soon as I get them, they go into my funnel. Um, I take the real marketing now because I said, if I, if I do this real marketing, can I get that list for my SEO guy? So now I'm taking that list and he's sending all my videos as well. So every time I'm sending those nice four page brochures, they also, like I had the guy call me, I just saw you on my two-year-old's iPad. How'd that happen? I go, I don't think your two-year-old bought an iPad, right? So um, anyway, this is... Cameron can relate to this. This is all, you know, my, my fairy day step. Oh, here's a great thing I want to share with you guys that I've gotten quite a few uh, great, great conversations. If any of you guys are door knockers um, or any of you guys are doing, uh, like I, I only door knock around open houses and uh, pendings because then I'm not like a solicitor. I just, my, it's very, very simple. My script is, um, you know, I knock on the door and I'm like, you know, sorry to bother you on a Saturday. Uh, I'm Gail DeMarco, EXP Realty. Uh, real quick, I'm sure you saw your neighbor's home for sale, the open house right down the street. Um, and then they say yes and, or no. And I'll say, well, you, you know, I was coming to meet my clients here and I just called them, tell them to make a U-turn because it's just not going to work for them. And they were driving all the way up here from the Bay Area. They're cash buyers because people want to hear cash and say, you know, it never fails by any chance. Are you thinking of coming on the market? Because two homes always come on the market when one gets sold. And, you know, at, at the end of the day, um, if, you know, so then I just start the conversation like that. But, you know, I'll just say they only, only, only want this neighborhood. They don't want any other neighborhood. So, you know, if you're thinking of selling, and then I give them this book, and I'll give you this in Canva too. Because if they say no, they most of the time they say no, or they have to get ready, or they're thinking about it. It's my vendor book. So I'm like, you know what? Uh, they're thinking about it. They got to do some remodeling. They got to do something. I go, hey, let me give you my vendors. Now, I would never do this two years ago because they'd get so busy. I wouldn't be able to get them. So now I'm giving them, hey, here's anything you need. If whether, you know, you, you just moved in or you moved in and, you, uh, you know, four years ago and you're thinking of, so I have every vendor. And so now I will tell you, they don't throw this away. And if you want, you can also follow up with a gift card. If they're really good, you know, if you're having a great conversation, come back with a gift card with this. This is something that everybody seems to really, really say thank you for. So I have contractors, you name it, I have it in here. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, so it's kind of- That's awesome, like, Gail. I didn't really know what we were talking about today. Just haven't had that. <laughs> That's good. Gosh, Gail, I'd love to have you on for a whole call and just do an hour of what you're doing because that stuff's intriguing for me. You know, well, I'm trying, to, you know, after spending so much time talking to people who don't want to sell, at least I know if they score over 90 and, you know, they've actually checked their home value, there's some interest there. You know, I actually do something a little different for my luxury clients. Um, and I'll show you really quick. So if it's a luxury home, I'm marketing this area called Ponte Vedra right now. And um, average home price is about one five up. Yep. So I do this little mailer. And let me tell you, it takes me about four hours to do this sucker, but I've already gotten phone calls and I only send out 250. So I uh, put a nice little luxury card in there, a nice envelope. You know, and then I just basically what this says is, uh, hey, you know, are you curious? Now, I know they've already checked their value. 
Um, just say you're curious about your home's value. If you're considering selling in the next 12 months and you want a real home evaluation, it's crucial to understand the limitations of the automated online platforms like Zillow and Realtor.com. These platforms only use limited data. So it goes on and on saying, hey, really what they're trying to do is sell, uh, sell leads to real estate agents. And you know they don't know if you remodel, they don't know if you have a view, blah, 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 blah. So there's a nice little thing right there. That's awesome. Gil, quick question. What do you, who do you use for um, pay-per-click? Are you doing any kind of pay-per-click at all? No, I am not. Uh, well, I, I use this one guy, Joey. Well, he just does my retargeting. I used to do pay-per-click, but here's the key behind pay-per-click. I was spending, I don't know, $7,000 a month on pay-per-click. It's only as good as the people, your, your agents. And my agents were sucking at it. Yep. So I decided not to reward them and I would just do what I normally do. For me, it's, uh, I'm more interested in, do you want to sell now? I don't want to, I don't want to spend time nurturing. I, that's just me, right? I mean, yep. there's a lot of people that have 5,000 people in their FUB and I, and I do have quite a few people. I have two people only that use my FUB and um, those are from leads that, you know, I went and I bought, um, which I re really regret it because I did a little test here when I came to Florida. I needed to hire an agent, right? And when I say that, I, I want to hire an experienced EXP agent. I didn't have time to recruit anybody or anything like that. So I found somebody. I go, here's the deal. I go back and forth to California. So I need you. I will give you, you know, anywhere from 50 to 40% on every deal. And I just took a listing today for 1.3. And this is from prospecting. Okay, and they're right down, brand new house, it's two years old. I'm gonna post it on my Instagram today. And uh, I'm gonna give her 50%, but I went and I said, I'm gonna, she goes, I said, how much do you want? She goes, well, why don't you just buy me some Zillow leads? So I go, you know what? I've never really bought Zillow leads, but let me, I'll do it if you work it. I spent $36,000, 6,000 6, a month for six months. We did close two deals this month, but I'm not even breaking even on this. Zillow right. does not work. Okay. okay, not now. It used to work, but we don't have, right now, we don't have inventory, we don't have buyers. So why the hell would we spend money on that? So the only thing that works for me is getting on the freaking phone, making conversations and door knocking is amazing for me. That's a great way to get business right now because they, they can't hate you up close. You know what I mean? And it's like, you know, they're ready to go or they're ready to, you know, Yep. Get on my porch. And here in Florida, people just say, no, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Right. They're super nice. They don't go, you know, I'm calling the popo. So, yep. you know, at the and, end one, of the day, and one thing I'd like to say, Gail, is um, you just, you know, we don't have to get personal, but you just moved to Florida recently, right? About right. what, six months ago. So guys, okay. she just took a $1.2 million listing. Oh, and you should see the ones I just took on Fizbo's. And, and guys, she just moved there. So whoever's not doing business here, that's not doing the work, there's no excuse, okay? So, you know, jump in your car, travel 2,000 miles away and go get listings because Gail's doing it. But the I reason she's doing Gail. it, guys, is you're doing, you're doing the work, Gail. That's, that's the key, right? Yeah, I, I took a 1.1 FISBO. I just look and I go, why is this thing pending for six months? I called up the guy, actually, you know, I started doing research and it was... Um, he was trying to sell it himself. He had put it on a $500 website and then the deal fell through. That was in January. It was still pending. I called him because, oh, that's still up. And I met with him, uh, got that listing that closes hopefully tomorrow. Um, and they put it off with a awesome. hurricane. And then I took another one for nine. It was listed at a million dollars. I knew it was overpriced. And I just, it was a FISBO. And I... Just, you know, went over there and showed some value. That's a whole nother conversation. But anyway, yeah. I've taken almost $4 million since I got here four months awesome. ago. So. Awesome, Gil. That's awesome. Dennis, Dennis can I point out one thing too? Yeah. With the door knocking, you guys, you just heard from Gail that it worked. And I can attest that it works as well. One of the best strategies that I recommend everyone do with door knocking to, to, to up your motivation and make it not so hot. Obviously, down in Florida, door knocking during the summer is brutal. Uh, but do it with a team. Bring out another person with you. It'll be way more fun. The outcomes will just be better. Your moods are going to be better. Um, I also like it, too, for safety. So if you're a lady and you're door knocking um, by yourself, 
protect yourself, please, and make sure that you have a way out. Do common sense stuff, you guys. Um, yeah. I know we've had some a couple of the, my team members that were door knocking. And they said there was just kind of weird interactions. So it's good to have two people with you when doing the door knocking. Awesome, awesome, good tips. Okay, let's move on. We got a few more people to go here. Bobby Martins, we haven't seen you in a while, buddy. It's good to see you. So let's, Bobby, we're talking about online lead generation primarily, SEO, pay per click, that, that sort of stuff. So why don't we focus on that a little bit? Tell us what you're doing and what's working. All right, hello everybody. Hold on, let me close this door. Good to see you all again. And uh, this is obviously a very important topic because without clients, we can't really do the job uh, or make money. Uh, so, you know, right now we have a huge shortage of transactions um, and that might be a while. So for the experienced agents out there, hopefully you have put away cash and you can live off that cash for a little bit while you're uh, nurturing these relationships with your past clients. I think the most important thing everybody can do right now is take a big deep breath and go talk to your past clients, go talk to your friends, get in front of the people that you've already made a bunch of money. You got to show that you care about them. Go see them in the houses that you've closed over the last two, three years. Bring them a gift. I think if you spend a little time on your past clients, I think you'll get a lot more return with referrals. Now, what kind of deals though? We got to look at where are the deals happening? So, you know, obviously you got a lot of flip deals happening out there right now. So um, you've got a billion wholesalers going out to homeowners directly, door knocking, just like Gail's doing. And, um, you know, so I think that tells you something there, uh, door knocking, cold calling, all that stuff still works. And so if you don't have a relationship with an investor, I would definitely get, get that going and be in a position to be able to do a guaranteed offer program like uh, Gail was talking about. So I think that's a very important part. Um, I also think this is the time to start up groups again. So for, um, you know, before the, the pandemic, I had a poker group. I, my wife had a bunco group. I had a golf, uh, a, a group of golf guys that I went out golfing with. And, you know, all, when COVID happened, that kind of destroyed a lot of that. And so uh, I think it's a good time to bring that back um, and, you know, connect people, you know, get in the habit of um, getting in front of people who can connect you with more people. So for example, divorce attorneys, probate attorneys, you know, get in front of those kinds of people right now, because the, you know, that's, you know, their, their, their business might be a little bit off too. So maybe you're coming to them and saying, you know, to a probate attorney, like, Hey, look, I'm reaching out to past clients right now. I'm talking to them about their trust. I'm looking at the, the tax records. I don't see a lot of my clients don't have it in trust. So can I send you business? What do they, what do you think they're going to say? They're going to say, absolutely. And then of course you want to find out if they have a relationship with a realtor, um, you know, before you send that business, because you want to make sure it's a two-way street. So business to business, that's where it's at right now. Your past clients, your friends, your family, the people who already know you and like you, uh, those are the people that are doing stuff. Now, there's a ton of off-site stuff like online stuff with, you know, uh, people relocating. So you need to become the expert of who is relocating in your area uh, or where, where are people coming from? And then also be the source, you know, for uh, people moving out. So for example, you could run ads uh, in whatever city you are and say, hey, I've got the, um, I've got a booklet for the top 10 cities in America that everybody's moving to. Okay, you can put that booklet together in about eight minutes with ChatGPT. I mean, I'm telling you, it'll take you eight minutes and you can brand it to you. And so maybe run ads in your local market for that. Now, I just made that up in two seconds. Okay, any one of us can sit down and make up uh, lead funnels for the type of business that we want to go for. But again, it's really it, right now, you know, you can bang your head up against the wall trying to get uh, get deals going and spend a lot of money and not get money back if you're focusing on the wrong type of lead. So you want the people moving out of the area and then you want first time home buyers. So basically first time home buyer seminars, that's a beautiful thing. You can do that online and you can do that uh, in person. We've been doing the, uh, the, the in-person thing with these seminars for a while. 
and they work great. We've sold several homes with it. We've got hundreds and hundreds of leads from it. And so now what do we do with that? We have to retarget. We have to uh, hit them with, with, um, uh, with videos, but we also just have to be super patient because at the end of the day, it's a shitty time to buy. I mean, let's look at it realistically. The prices are crazy. The interest rates are crazy. So, so you know, it, the market is going to get broken. They're going to keep raising the rates. You know, let's just be honest about what's going on. They're going to keep raising the rates until it breaks. And so, you know, we might have two or three years ahead of us of some bad times. Now, for the agents out there that aren't selling anything or maybe newer to the business, you know, don't don't sit back and say, OK, it's going to get better next month. It's going to get better next month, especially if you're not doing the tasks every single day that you need to do. So look, focus on money making activities as much as you can. Open houses are an amazing way to, to get activity uh, going. Uh, cold calling, door knocking, uh, uh, door knocking around listings. Uh, but here's one that is very unorthodox. But if you're up for it, I'm going to give it to you. I have not done this myself, but we're going to test it because I, I think uh, I think that this is a uh, would be an amazing tool. So uh, obviously, if you're not making money and you need money, then you need a second side hustle. Well, Uber is a great side hustle. And so what maybe you, um, you know, you hang around the fluent areas in your Uber car and you wait to meet other affluent people or, or to, meet, uh, to pick up affluent people. In your front seat, you have a booklet there with a bunch of properties that maybe on the front of it says like hot San Diego properties. They're going to look at it and say, what's that? And you're going to say, I'm a real estate agent. I, I just Uber just to meet people like you. The, would you like to sign up for my weekly newsletter where I send out a deal of the week? You know, you can do that in a very nonchalant, non-salesy way. And you're going to be in front of investors, in front of high net worth individuals. You can be super direct about it. You can say, hey, you know what? I'm just Ubering just so I can meet people like you. Okay. You know, and that's it. You know, and now, now you're collecting their information. You're sending them properties. You're finding out what they need. So you got to get out there. It's a contact sport. If you're not out there on a, on a, a week to week basis, meeting new people, going to events, Here's another thing. Go to meetup. Go to meetup.com. Ask uh, or uh, type in uh, investor um, investor uh, meetings in my area. Go to those investor meetings. Uh, you know, uh, leverage the relationship or the team stats that you have. Get up there in front of everybody and, and let everybody know that you have access to off market properties. You know, you have a deal of the week program. You know, all that stuff. So you got to get different you know uh, right now it's going to be it's it's going to be tough for a while so you got to go where the deals are so make sure you're you're looking uh in the mls and seeing where are the transactions coming from what price points are they coming from and then tailor your ads around that because you want to be working where the deals are okay so other than that let me see here one more thing oh here's one more thing when it comes to the online lead aggregation companies, if you want to know which ones to go to go with or make sure that you're registered with all of them, um, go to Google and then just punch in home for sale. So wherever you're at, you know, depending, some companies spend a lot of money in certain areas and some people don't touch California, for example, but obviously most people touch California because of the price points. But, you know, in certain cities, you know, maybe they're, you know, uh, like, for example, like Alabama or something, you may not, um, you know, uh, certain companies might not spend money in those areas. So so that's a great way to learn really quickly who is spending money to get leads by looking at the sponsored ads. So just look for the sponsored ads, punch in home home for sale. San Diego or whatever city you are, and then that will tell you who is, who's doing sponsored ads. Go to that website, sign up to be an agent, call, send them a video, send them your resume. Don't just sign up. You know, everybody just signs up and then they expect like five days later to get 15 leads. And they, then they wonder, why am I not getting any leads? Well, it's because thousands of real estate agents are slow right now. So all of us are doing the same thing. We're, we're looking for business and we're signing up for this and signing up for that. And so, um, you know, so you got to get outside of your comfort zone, reach out to them, 
you know, make sure you get on their radar. And again, send them a video, send them maybe even your resume with all of your closed sales, your history, all that kind of stuff will help you get in. Um, and then let's see, the last thing I would look, look into, uh, especially for the EXP people out there, is our relocation department. Um, we have a very, very fantastic lady here who's heading up the relocation department. She's uh, bringing in thousands and thousands of sales per year for EXP now. She's, I think she's been like 35, 40 years in the business. She's unbelievable. So if you haven't met her, um, you know, reach out to, to her and, uh, you know, get, get involved with the relocation stuff because, you know, it's basically death, divorce, relocations. Those are what where the transactions are going to be coming from, from uh, for or coming uh, from for a while uh, until these rates get back down because you know your average person just can't trade in a three percent for a seven or eight percent. So let's get realistic there uh, about that. So it's going to be first time home buyers. It's going to be people moving out of the air area. It's divorce. It's death. That's where deals are coming from. So get used to those types of transactions. That's all I got for you guys today. Much love. Such uh, such gloomy uh, predictions right there, Bobby. Hey, you know what, guys? I mean, I hate to say it, but when the Federal Reserve says we want to break a system and it hasn't broken yet, you you can just bet your ass those rates are going to keep going, and uh, they want to they're, they're going to want to get us ready for a new norm. And I don't think they want the new norm to be 5%. I think they want the new norm to be seven. So I expect rates to go to 10 and then start coming back. And then at, when they go, go to six or seven, everyone's going to be thrilled. Um, you know, and so I, I think, you know, we've just got to be, be prepared. That's all, that's all I want people to, to, uh, to be, yeah. be doing. That's, that's, a, that's a whole nother conversation, but I think once the rates, I think the rates eventually go down and I think once they do, then it's going to spur up like a huge, um, influx of transactions happening. Totally yeah. agree. But, but, but we need prices to come down a little bit and that's, that's the, that's the, the fact. And, uh, and so that's why I feel like rates are going to keep going and, you know, the cash, the cash buyer is going to be king for a while. So go get some cash buyers. Yep. So I think this call is going to um, be a two part series because I got a ton to say about this subject and we still have a lot of people to go and Mitch is Mitch will be back next week. But let's keep moving along. Matt Batiata, give us what you have. You know, we're trying to focus guys on online lead generation, pay per click SEO. What are your thoughts on that? And what are you doing? So, gosh, everybody had so many um Great things, and I know we're running out of time. I wanted to mention something that everybody on this call, uh, who's with EXP at least, has access to, which is Making It Rain. Um, Making It Rain is EXP's done-for-you online lead generation. And it can be for buyers or sellers. For sellers, so basically you just pick the area you want to work. So, you know, whatever geographic area you want to work, whatever could be a big or small area. And then you pick your budget. I think the minimum is 250 bucks a month. You could go up to a few thousand a month, whatever your budget is. And you can also decide whether you want them, whether you want to go after buyers or sellers, right? So sellers uh, making it rain uses EXP's platform of express offers. And express offers is basically, I run ads, uh, online ads, but you could have making it rain do it too. That, and you could do it out through direct mail any way you want to do it. Um, you know, we'll bring you three guaranteed cash offers on your home within 72 hours. So, um, and basically what make it, what, what, what Express offers is, is a platform that EXP created to compete with the iBuyers. And um, it's where institutional investors bid against each other to buy a home. And just like Gail said, most of the people that respond to those ads that want a cash offer um, once they see the cash offer, or, you know, they understand that it's lower than it's not obviously a top dollar offer. They don't want it, but it doesn't matter because now you're in front of them and you have a listing appointment. So um, I use express offers a lot. Most of the people that I meet with um, who call, who respond to ads and say, I want to sell my house to a cash buyer, they don't end up selling their house to a cash buyer. We end up listing their home on the open market, um, but it's a way to get in front of them. It's a way to get in the door. So um, making it rain, which you can access through enterprise does two things. They do seller leads, which is through express offers and they advertise on, you know, Google pay-per-click and Facebook. And then for buyers, it's just regular home search leads, right? 
Now you can do this on your own if you want to navigate through, you know, Facebook business and Google pay-per-click, which has gotten really, really complicated, but it's so simple to do it through making it rain. So um, I would, that's one thing I would recommend. Another thing we've started experimenting with is doing webinars. Um, so you can do webinars for buyers or sellers. The easiest one is for first time buyers, really easy to do. Um, it's a great way. We did one a couple of weeks ago. We think we got like 25 buyer leads off of it, off doing a very simple, you know, 40 minute webinar at seven o'clock at night. So that's very easy. Um, Let's see. Of course, direct mail is huge. Um, you can, you know, social media is easy to do. It's free. You can post content just like Gail's doing. You can post content on YouTube. You don't even have to pay for it. You can also run paid ads on YouTube, um, which I've started doing instead of running ads on TV uh, because you can target it. So, you know, the bottom line is everything works to a degree, and but right. doing nothing is the one thing that doesn't work. Right. So, right. you know, nobody talks about knocking on doors. I think, Gail, you made a great point. I mean, you can go out and knock on doors. It's, you know, it's like Mike Ferry used to say, there's people in your market that want to buy and sell, go find them. So however you want to do it, whether it's picking up the phone and calling them or knocking on doors or running ads. Um, but I would probably, that's the one thing I, I thought of. I don't buy any leads from anywhere. Um, years ago, I think I tried buying Zillow leads uh premier leads and stuff but i don't buy leads but making it rain um and direct mail are both really easy things to do and very inexpensive by the way awesome thanks matt appreciate that buddy uh let's go to lurch lurchy philadelphia let it let it go man first of all i'll be honest with you i am in facebook jail that means i'm not allowed to do any ads on it <laughs> i don't know how i got in it but uh i got in it somehow and uh <clears throat> i've been trying to get out but I can, I can, it's a Philly thing. You know what I mean? Come on. How do you get in Facebook jail? How's that work? Yeah, I don't know. know. Somebody posted something stupid at some point and look, let's just let it go. Leave it alone. I can't fix it. All right. <laughs> if I can find out, they get smacked. It's cost me a lot of aggravation. All right. And I'm still working on it. So if anybody knows how to get a Facebook jail, please, please help me. You could probably right. do through making it rain and you wouldn't be in jail because they I'm do I'm listening. I'm going to go to that right after this. Phone it. You're on this. Phone is my VP, my virtual professional. Phone it. Go to Make It Rain and check this out. All right. Down, down to uh, four minutes real quick. I'm going to be dead honest. One of the, one of the girls in my organization, uh, Erica, has been watching this and hearing what to do. She went out and been working on KV Core. If you're an EXP or if you're not and you use KV Core, you can go make squeeze pages. She went and made a squeeze page. She went to chat to chat. GPS or GPT, whatever you call it. She goes, what are the top 10 things that people are looking to know if they're downsizing a house? She came up with this list. She created a funnel. She put $20 a day on a Facebook ad, posted it out and got 25 people in four hours wow. requesting the information. They filled in their phone number. They filled in their address. They filled in everything. They had to fill it to get it. Then, on, then she had set up in KV Court. Don't ask me how. She's coming in next week after the weekend to show me. So then we can figure this out and share it with everybody more. That automatically, once they fill the funnel out, boom, it sends them the list. Now, once it sends the list, it then lets her know it opened it up. Now she's sending a video. There's an automatic response. Now, remember something. This is a girl who's been in the business less than a year. She's hit seven, eight houses already. And now all of a sudden, she's, she's getting in that groove of figuring out what works. The KV core system works. Why recreate it? Gail mentioned it, we all talked about it. You can't get a response unless you're doing the work. Control your controllables. I know I can't control Facebook. So I've got to work with my previous clients right now. But you should be, Gail, we were on a call the other day with uh, Elizabeth Riley. 83, what's the number 83 mean? Write the number 83 down. 83% of the agents in the industry don't stay in touch with their clients. Look at all the orphans out there. Go to settlement two weeks later, send them a note, send them a gift after a month. Guess what? They have family and friends. This other agent's already or, or, uh, orphaned them. So mm -hmm. unless you like the agent and then don't do it to them, but just 
couple ideas real quick. So try to click per page through Facebook, but use it through the KB Core uh, with the squeeze pages. All right, you got one minute to go. Thanks, Lurchie. Okay, Brian, you're on. If anybody knows how to get on Facebook, Jail, please call me. All right. We'll, hey, we'll great, great call. Yeah. Uh, there, here's a one minute blitz of just everything. Gail, at nine minutes and 37, excuse me, at nine o'clock and 37 minutes into this video, this is what I do. I look back, watch these things, and I go back. You said they can't hate you up close. Love that, right? Door knock, door knock. Do it, be intentional. Bobby Martins, we have um, referral agents only now, right? We have agents who are getting out of the business that have active licenses. And when they have an active license, they can receive referral fees. What I would do is put an army of Uber drivers around who are referral agents, just picking up your stuff from you and giving it away so you can be the lead gen magnet and let them be the drivers, all right? You don't need to be out in your nice, I've seen your black BMW around town. I've seen your license plate. You don't need to be driving Uber. You need to be driving those rich I'm not. I'm not driving Uber. I'm just saying <laughs> if for somebody who's slow right now, I would yeah. be driving Uber. Yeah. We're, still, uh, we're still crushing deals and we're not We're not slowing down. So Matt Battiat, I learned something from you a long time ago. You control the inventory. You control the leads. You've always done that. And Cameron, you can outbound, inbound, or paid. Figure out which one you do best and focus on that one because there is clues in all your deals. If you look back at all your deals, you're going to say, oh, that client came from this. That client came from this. Inbound is unpredictable. Outbound is very predictable. You know how many calls you're going to make. You know how many doors you're going to knock on. But when you have an open house, you don't know how many people are going to show up. When you do an ad, you don't know how many ad calls you're going to get. So always be doing what you are best at and make it rain. Here's how I leverage Make It Rain. I do a lot of calls, you guys, but all the calls I'm doing are new agents wanting to know what we can benefit by, by joining EXP. The thing that I tell most investors is you can become a lead generation magnet if you pay $250 a month for Make It Rain. But you don't have to be the agent. You're going to get 15, 20 leads a month, just get really good at conversions and then hand those out for 25% referral fees all day long to your preferred agents in the area and get paid for paying for Make It Rain. That's so easy. I'm, I'm giving all of you a new idea. There's a new job on your team for somebody who just converts Make It Rain leads and hands them out to other agents for referral fees. I mean, that's it. We should, we should real quick, we should call them the Rainmaker, just saying. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> All right, guys. So I have, I have a feeling we'll end up doing part two of this uh, call because we have a lot of people missing and there's a lot more to talk about and I have a lot to talk about as well. So, um, but we're at the top of the hour. Thanks everybody for showing up. Gail, good seeing you. Hope to see you again. All right, Bobby, good hey, to see you. Happy Labor Day, everybody. Bye guys. Take care. Hey guys, be safe. See you, everyone.